Hi, welcome to Adventures and Things. I'm Michael Wright, and today we are learning a little bit about Ethiopian culture at the Caribbean Village Cafe. Now, for those of you that failed geography, Ethiopia is not in the Caribbean. It's in Africa. It's surrounded by Somalia, Kenya, the Sudans, and something that I don't know how to pronounce. If you're wondering why I'm learning Ethiopian culture in a Caribbean restaurant, well, it's not Halle Selassie, that's for true. It's because the owner of the restaurant, James, wanted to make one of his employees feel at home and got her to share a part of her culture with the people of Victoria. And to be honest, this is one of the major reasons why I moved to this city. So anyways, let's, uh, let's get to the coffee ceremony, shall we? The Ethiopian coffee ceremony is a ritualized way of serving coffee in Ethiopia. It is for the purpose of getting together with family, friends, neighbors, and other guests like this white guy. And it's it's usually the women that yeah, do the they coffee. Make the coffee. Yeah, yeah they make women. Oh yeah. They make only drinks. <laughs> the first part happens roasting the green coffee beans over a heat source. Sometimes it's an open flame, but it doesn't really matter. And you toast those until nice and brownish black and all roasty, toasty and good. Then the grinding of the beans. Traditionally, this is done in mortar and pestle, but they didn't have one, which it, it doesn't really matter, honestly. Then we get this, then we put it in here. And can you show me what that is? This is a The other one? And the coffee goes in there? Yeah. It's with hot water? Yeah, and then we put it there. Then comes the pouring of the coffee. It is to be poured from a foot above the cups. Usually all the cups needed are poured at once, but because of the nature of this particular ceremony, it was poured one at a time. And with the coffee also comes the snacks. Usually popcorn, peanuts, and or himbasha or ambasha, which is a slightly sweetened bread. It is really dense and delicious bread. So now we just sit around and converse and share stories of each other's cultures and home life and all that good stuff. And the kids dance around all excited like they've had too much coffee too. They also served us um, traditional Ethiopian food, like a meal, not just snacks, and it was incredibly good food. It was mostly just meat and veggies prepared in what is known as a wat, or a thick stew, and served on injera bread. So that was my trip to the Caribbean village and learning about Ethiopian culture and having an Ethiopian coffee experience. It was the coolest thing I've done in Victoria so far. The two ladies I found out are refugees here and the owner of the cafe thought it would be a good idea for them to every Sunday have um, an Ethiopian ceremonial coffee and like I said before this is a ceremonial coffee this is something that they do with family and everything and they really do make you feel like your family there I felt like I belonged there with them they were so open and loving and caring and they fed me and gave me coffee I will definitely be making an effort to go back there every Sunday if you live in Victoria I highly suggest you head down to Caribbean Village Cafe in the Quadra Village cool I learned a ton about the Ethiopian culture and Halle Selassie and all of that stuff. It was uh, some mixed feelings about that fella, but uh, it was incredible. So anyways, if you like this and you want more cultural videos and travels and all of that, then uh, click the me likey button and subscribe. And uh, well, I'll see you next time.